I'm Barry, and this is March 23rd, 2018, and this is my first vlog from a horse sanctuary in the mountains of Appalachia. And I've been thinking a lot about time as a concept, but also in practical application. And so I, I'm a, I drive a bus with children, and sometimes there, there are parents who don't show up on time, and then everyone is late, and I find that frustrating. But then I got to thinking about how in some cultures, how, how it's like manana, and how people don't really care about time, and think people are just like, yay! And life is beautiful, and they'll stop and smell the roses, and they don't worry about time. Whereas other cultures are very dirt, 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 and they're very rigid, and they're very much about time, and it's an extreme show of disrespect if you're not on time, because, you know. And then I got to thinking that I live in the United States, which is a melting pot, and we don't have a coherent culture with regards to time. Some people are manana and some people are dirt, dirt, dirt. And I'm, I might be a little bit more on the dirt, dirt, dirt side of things. And so then I get frustrated at the manana people and everybody has their own way. And so that it's hard to, to really agree. And I feel like a melting pot is good, but it would also be good to have a coherent culture with regards to time, and also many other things. But I think I want to talk about something else today. You, usually in my vlogs, I talk about one subject because I want people to be able to steep in that subject and then muse upon it later. But So I don't want to dilute what I have to say, but I want to talk about pickleball. Uh, pickleball is a sport and this is a pickleball paddle, and some people don't know what pickleball is. I was telling a friend of mine who is also very sporting about pickleball, and he said to me, he said, is that like hide the pickle? Which I'm not really sure what he was saying, but I think what he was saying was an entendre, which is French, but there's no hiding. In, in pickleball, it's not like hide and seek. It's very much like tennis. And, well, first I want to say people are always surprised oftentimes to find out that I play pickleball because they assume that I play baseball because I love baseball and because I wear a helmet, which I don't usually mention or bring attention to my helmet in my vlogs, but you've probably noticed that I wear a helmet. And the truth was that I was very much on track to, to play uh, as a professional baseball player. But then I got to college and I, I learned that in the culture of being a baseball player in college, that in addition to being a baseball player, you also had to be a date rapist, which I didn't really see the distinction between date raping and regular raping. So uh, it was you know, baseball, raping, and so I elected to, to take a career track that was more artistic and more focused on professional public speaking, which has been very fruitful. So, but I play pickleball, and which is good because it's, it's, it helps me to get out my competitive fire. And I have a lot of competitive fire, and it's very much like tennis, and, and it's active. But Part of what I wanted to say was that when I play pickleball, there's a lot of people who have complained because they think that I'm trying to hit them in the face with the ball. <sighs> now that doesn't make a lot of sense because if you do aim high at somebody's face and you miss a couple inches to the left or to the right, the ball is going to go long and then it'll be the other team's point. So it's not really a very good play. So I just want to say to all the people who play, because I know everyone in the pickleball club is going to watch this video, that I'm not trying to hit you in the face. 
I'm not trying to not hit you in the face at the same time, if you know what I mean. I look, I've been hit in the face when I was playing baseball and it broke an ocular bone and I sustained permanent damage to my sinus cavities. So I understand not wanting to be hit in the face with a ball, but a baseball is very hard and it's solid and it has a, and it has a core. Whereas a pickleball is essentially a wiffle ball, which is mostly negative space. It's negative space. It's not really like, you're not going to sustain damage to your ocular uh, cavity hitting in the face with a pickleball. So, and also, then people complain because I don't always smile because I, I have competitive fire and then they think that I'm, I'm, I'm just mean. And I think there might be a racist component to that too. I don't know. But also, they, they think that because I wear a helmet, that maybe I don't care if I get hit in the face or not, which also doesn't make a lot of sense because my helmet doesn't cover my face. It's not like a hockey goalie helmet. And then people want to know why I'm wearing a baseball helmet, which I tell them nunya. And then I say nunya business, which then they, they think that that's being rude, where as in reality, it's really not anybody's business. We all do things for protection that we feel good about. And this is what I do. And I guess I try to learn a lesson so that I can be happy and not be annoyed with people because there's so many billions of people and we all have our own way and then we can't always agree. So what I try to learn from this is that wherever you go, there's going to be someone who complains and you have to just try to be okay with that if they complain and not get all wrapped up into their drama because there's a lot of people who like drama. And if it's not your drama, you don't have to be in their drama. You can just walk away or you can just smile and nod or you can just try to empathize and give them positive eye, reaffirming eye contact and let them know that you see their humanity, which is hard because a lot of people are assholes. Pardon my French. <sighs> and it occurs to me as I stop to listen to that woodpecker that the people watching this video might be annoyed that I didn't make any noise for five seconds because we live in this modern sped up age in which you don't want to just sit and stare at somebody not doing anything for five seconds when you're watching your video on your hand computer. And so that's another way that time comes into play and it's really hard to make everyone happy. I'm Barry and this has been my vlog.